program. is the oldest form of North American traditional music, other than Native American music. The fiddling tradition first came over from European settlers, mostly in Great Britain and Ireland. Fiddling John Carson was the first to record old-time music for the label OK Radio in 1923. Before this time, old-time music had been referred to as hillbilly music. Around the time of Fiddle and John Carson's first recordings for OK Radio, they changed the title to Old Time Music to describe the American fiddling traditions of the South and Appalachian Mountains. This title is still used today. Longtime lovers and players of old time music will also refer to it as Old Timey Music or Mountain Music. Right now you are listening to the track Billy in the Low Ground one of the first recordings of Fiddle and John Carson produced by OK Radio in 1923. These recordings immediately became a hit, and Fiddle and John Carson returned to OK Radio many times that same year to record more tracks. One of his biggest hits was Old Joe Clark, and sold millions of copies. Old Joe Clark was awarded a gold disc by the RIAA. Music is almost always learned by ear without sheet music. Written old time tunes do exist, but it is believed within the community that these tunes cannot be accurately written out. There are lots of variation to the music, usually determined by region and local tradition. Many old time musicians will play a tune slightly differently every time, so that makes it hard to capture in written form. Fiddlesticks. One person plays the fiddle, and one person taps out a rhythm on the strings using small sticks. This tradition is unique to old time music. also common in the old time tradition, as it is a communal art form. There are different types of dancing that can be paired with old time music depending on the region. In the southern U.S. and Appalachia, clogging is very common. Clogging can be done by oneself or with others. It originally stems from Irish dancing in Ireland and Europe, though it is much more casual. Cloggers are very close to the floor, never going on the balls of their feet. Clogging is meant to accompany the music instead of being the star of the show. The rhythms are relatively simple and complement the music. instruments were available. 
If there were no other instruments, a single fiddler would play a dance and double as the caller. The banjo was the most common accompaniment to the fiddle. Originally a fretless gourd from Africa, the banjo was brought over by enslaved Africans. African American slaves and free blacks influenced old time music with the banjo. The banjo was adapted by white musicians leading up to the Civil War. The banjo is now a staple in old time music for black and white musicians alike. In the old time traditions, the banjo is played claw hammer style. Jenkins invented the three finger roll and Earl Scruggs made it popular in the 1940s. This formed a split between bluegrass and old time. What you're about to see is Rhiannon Giddens playing a replica of a gourd banjo from 1858. The golden era of old time music happened in the 1920s through the 1930s, and the revival of old time music happened in the 1960s and 1970s. True mountain music never died, it just got overshadowed by bluegrass. Young people came from the north to the North Carolina mountains in search of authentic old time music. Today, western North Carolina has a big old time scene. between bluegrass and old time, and also some key differences. Old time bands tend to be smaller and have simpler arrangements compared to bluegrass. Bluegrass tends to be more centered around how many notes you can play, while old time is more focused on the simple rhythmic qualities. Bluegrass stems from old time and uses many of the same instruments, but is more focused on solos. Old time is focused on having everyone play together in a community. <laughs>
was a fair maid dwelling, my every used to wheel and roll. Her name was Barbie Allen. Appalachian Old Time Music The music of the Appalachian Mountains was super isolated from other influences, so it is very authentic to the region. Appalachian Old Time is the oldest form of old time music in the U.S. Appalachian music had a big influence on bluegrass and country music in the U.S. Appalachian Old Time blends traditions from early European settlers and enslaved Africans. A lot of Appalachian songs come from English and Scottish ballads. These ballads came over with the European settlers. Appalachian singers have a unique vocal style and word pronunciation. I'm sick and very sick, and on my death is lying. Right now, you are listening to Barbary Allen, a common ballad in both the English and Appalachian traditions. In 1916, Cecil Sharp traveled to the Appalachian Mountains in hopes of collecting these songs before the tradition died. He identified over 1,600 versions of 500 songs from 281 singers. Most of the singers had origins in English and Scottish child ballads. Sharp published English folk songs from the Southern Appalachias in 1932. This book contains 247 ballads, songs, hymns, nursery songs, jigs, and party games with 968 tunes collected between 1916 and 1918 from the traditional singers in the mountains of Virginia, North Carolina, Kentucky, and Tennessee. It remains one of the fundamental collections of old-time songs and is still sold today. The old time music of the northern U.S. is much more diverse and has more of a European influence than southern old time. Hornpipes and waltzes are also played instead of just jigs and reels. New England old time music is one of the oldest forms of old time music in the U.S. because the European colonists settled in New England bringing their music traditions with them. Contradancing is a huge part of the New England old time tradition. Contradancing is a form of social dancing in which communities get together in a barn or community hall, grab partners, form lines, and dance together. It is great fun for both the band and the dancers. is unique to New England traditional music. It used to be a staple for the contradancing scene, but today it is a little less common. The signature contradance piano is being replaced more and more with guitar. Unlike classical music, contradance piano players don't play melody. Their job is to provide a continuous beat, the backbone to the melody.
soldier joy. As you can see, there are many regional styles of old time music, not all of which are mentioned in this documentary. There are some tunes that are played in every style and sound slightly different. A great example of this is Soldier's Joy. Soldier's Joy is a reel in the key of D major that is extremely popular in the American old time tradition. According to the Library of Congress, it is one of the oldest and most widely popular tunes. This tune has been played in Scotland for over 200 years and it came to the newly formed US at the beginning of the 18th century. This tune dates back as early as the 17th century. Right now you are listening to an old time version of Soldier's Joy, played on fiddle and claw hammer banjo. This recording was taken in 1939. listening to right now is a Scottish recording of Soldier's Joy taken in 1998. This is how the tune was originally supposed to be played, in a Scottish style with Scottish ornaments and Scottish bowing. It has been interpreted so much over the years that it is now equally an old time tune as it is a Scottish tune. how the B part of this recording sounds very similar to the B part of the last recording that was played in the Scottish style. They are very similar. The only thing different about them is the style of the player that played the tune. This is a very good example of how different players can play the same tune and sound similar but unique in their own way. This recording is another old time version of Soldier's Joy that was recorded in 1939. 